Okay, good morning to all. Welcome back of the chapter one of the CNS cryptography network security. Our last class we have discussed about the virus. So virus is nothing. It is a software program written with malicious intentions, or you can say it is a harmful software program written intentionally to enter a computer without the user's permission or knowledge. It has the ability to replicate itself. Replicate means create a duplicate copies of itself, thus continuing to spread. Next, uh, the phases of virus. What are the that means? Uh, these are the phases through which one virus can spin. The span can spin its life. First is your dormant phase. Second one is your propagation phase. Third one is your triggering phase. Fourth one is your execution phase. So first come to the dormant phase. Dormant phase. Uh, what is the dormant phase? Now the virus uh, in the dormant phase. The virus generally in the ideal condition, it gets activated based on a certain action or event. Example, the user typing a certain key or certain that data or time is reached, etc. This is an optional phase. That in dormant phase, in that phase, the virus is placed in the ideal condition. If you are using any event, that means press a key, press the mouse click, or you, then whatever the event is created within the system, then it will be activated. That is the dormant phase. <coughs> Next is your propagation phase. In this phase, a virus copies itself. And each copy starts creating more copies of itself, thus propagating the virus. So propagation means is what a virus copies itself. Okay, and each copy starts creating more copies itself, and thus propagation the virus. That is the propagation phase. Next is your triggering phase. A dormant virus moves into this phase. When one event for which it was waiting is initiated, triggering phase is means triggering means. Trigger what means the triggering? Triggering means you uh, move from one position to another position. That is the triggering. So triggering means if the dormant virus moves into this phase when the one action event takes place. So that is the triggering phase. Next, come to the execution phase. What do we mean the execution phase? This is the actual work of the virus, which could be harmless or destructive. Maybe harmless means display some message on the screen, or destructive means delete a file on the disk. Next is your as example of virus. There are different types of virus are present. Parasitic virus. Memory resident virus, boot sector virus, stealth virus, next uh, polymorphic virus, metamorphic virus. So first come to the parasitic virus. This is the most common form of virus, and such virus attaches itself to executable files and keeps replicating. Whenever the infected file is executed, the virus looks. For other executable file to attach itself and spread. Memory resident virus. This type of virus first attach itself to an area of the main memory and then infects every executable program that is executed. Boot sector virus. This type of virus infects the master boot record of the disk. And spreads on the disk when the operating system starts booting the computer. Again, repeat: this type of virus infects the master boot record of the disk and spreads on the disk when the operating system starts booting the computer. Next is your stealth virus. This virus has intelligence built in. Which prevents antivirus software programs from detecting it. That is stealth virus. Polymorphic virus. 
a virus that keeps changing its signature on every execution, making it very difficult to detect. That is the polymorphic virus. A virus that keeps changing its signature on every execution, making it very difficult to detect. Next come to the metamorphic virus. In addition to changing its signature like a polymorphic virus, this type of virus keeps rewriting itself every time, making its detection even harder. So, metamorphic virus uh, keeps its signature uh, regularly and this type of virus keeps rewriting itself every time. Next come to the own. What do you mean the own? Now, own is a piece of code that automatically reproduces itself over the network and it does not need the user intervention to propagate. That means it is automatically propagate or you can say it is autonomous. It, 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 uh, it itself is autonomous virus because it can propagate itself automatically. There is no need of any invention of the user or the program. <coughs> if OM does not perform any destructive actions like virus and instead only consumes system resources to bring it down. Okay? I am repeating, a OM does not perform any destructive action and instead only consume system resources to bring it down. Next, Trojan horse is one type of virus, is a hidden piece of code like a virus. However, the purpose of Trojan horse is different, while the main purpose of virus is to make some sort of modification to the target computer or network. A Trojan horse attempts to reveal confidential information to an attacker. That's why it is the name Trojan horse come from the epic from poem. So, that is the Trojan horse which is uh, objective is to be the hidden piece of code and uh, it is always tried to uh, main purpose of virus is to make some sort of modification to the target computer network and uh, con uh, it is always try to uh, access the confidential information or provide the confidential information to the attacker. Next come to there are two specific attacks like sniffing and spoofing. What do mean the sniffing? What do mean the spoofing? Uh, First come to the sniffing. What do you mean the sniffing? Sniffing is the technique it is uh, one type of passive attack on an ongoing conversation. An attacker need not hijack a conversation, but instead can simply observe packets as they pass by. To prevent an attacker from sniffing packets, the information that is passing need to be protected in some ways and this can be done at two levels. The data that is traveling can be encoded in some ways and the transmission link itself can be encoded. Right? Next is your spoofing. In this technique, attacker sends packets with an incorrect source address. Uh, when this happens, the receiver would uh, send replies back to this forgot address or spoof address and not to the attacker. This can uh, lead to three possible cases. The attacker can intercept the reply, the attacker need not see the reply, or the attacker need not see, or uh, the attacker does not want to the reply. So, this is about the sniffing and the spoofing, and this about 
all about the chapter number one so thank you to all from next class onwards you will move to the chapter number two thank you to all